Hello, T tomorrow's, tomorrow morning we've got a new schedule and we're actually doing activities for post, well, 15 to 18 year olds or 16 to 18 year olds. And tomorrow's one looks like this. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. We've actually found ways of taking this and first of all, making some sense out of it by putting it into real life and that's the genius of the aiming high um, resources now for someone to actually do this and work out the deliver derivatives and understand it there's the, the the resources on hi sarah tonight's like serious stuff Woo. brain brain steaming stuff look look that's what's on the schedule for tomorrow morning. But the thing is that we're actually going to make it into something even a five-year-old can do, at least in principle, because we're going to make it about driving. It's all about driving, we're about navigating, and it's and about navigating north, south, east, west, and how I'm, I'm talking about, well, it's the derivatives of an equation. And we'll actually, on one level, understand that, but on another level which is going to be literally how how far you have to turn the steering wheel and how um, and how quickly you're getting from one corner of the room or from one corner of the stadium to another so it's 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 going to be quite challenging for me but it's also going to be interesting and finding ways for it to include a five-year-old and finding ways to include ten-year-olds and finding ways to make it enjoyable and possible to truly get to grips with it for the people that actually need to know it that are doing what in England would be the A-levels so between the ages of 16 and 18 and um, to be able to understand, see if we can see it there, understand equations like this a bit better, but at the same time, as I say, um, make, it, make it real life. So see you nine o'clock in the morning. And then there'll also be um, tomorrow morning, I am, um, I'm doing an activity that I do every other week which means that at 10 o'clock or just before 10, I will be publishing a, a pre-recorded video for early years learners. And it will be based on this activity. It will be based on using, on basically driving a car around a piece of paper and seeing what graphs come out of it. It might be a bit random, but it'll effectively be um, having them create paths at very least um, around a piece of paper so that's for the for the young learners and and then yeah I'll have activities but that's for the early years at 10 o'clock and then at the nine the nine o'clock activity will be for 16 to 18 year olds I'll basically start slowly start slowly start with like eight year olds and build up so that the 16 to 18 year olds hopefully will have more insights on how to tackle this and of course for the adults that are having to help facilitate learning at home and there's um i myself have used another resource today to review this because i haven't done well i, I suppose i did for my for my degree but i seriously have not looked at anything like this since I finished my degree, which was in 1950. Kidding, it was in 1983. It was the last time I actually looked at an equation that would make um, a curve like this. So, I am in the way, in the same boat as you're in. I am relearning what I learned at school. I'm fully aware of the fact that a lot of grown-ups never um, took maths A level or maths up to the age of 18 and even if you did a lot of people just weren't interested and just couldn't be bothered and I completely understand that and so 
now you've got a young learner at home who might need help and oh my goodness how do you help them and this is hopefully going to provide you with some answers some insights some help some ways of making it enjoyable to yeah to to just make discoveries about a graph like that could be a name of a novel a graph such as this <laughs> as I woke up early one morning and I had to look at a graph like this <laughs> it'll it'll be grand it will be grand I love that Irish expression it'll be grand and I so I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to see you lovely people anyone that wants to join us at nine o'clock tomorrow morning and I still haven't worked out the polyhedron as in the, the 3D shape to make out of toilet paper. Dun, 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 dun. That's um keep stay tuned and I will eventually work it out now because of course we had to find a use for the good old toilet roll. So thank you for joining. It's lovely to see you, Sarah. And have a great uh, let me see what time is it where you are so have a good afternoon sarah and um and have a I'm, i know you're going to be doing something magnificent if anybody is watching if you can see that sarah's doing click on hers and 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 have a look at what she does she's doing some she's a she's a clown you do bubbles as well you certainly do balloons and it's just lovely Oh, I eat bal. It's um. I'm just leaving. I'm leaving. I'm just leaving. Oh, I like your profile picture, the Tower uh, London. Oh, what's it called? Tower Bridge. We're just looking at what we're doing in the morning. Nothing much. Just um. Oh, derivatives of equations, and um. But we are. I'm looking for ways. At at ten o'clock, I'll be doing. I'll just be publishing a video for. Um, early years where that literally will be effectively driving a car around a piece of paper with a with a, a little with, with a pencil um, to to make not graphs exactly but more tracks and 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 then there will be um, looking at ways to start introducing graphs as the learners get older and then hopefully give some insights for learners that actually need to understand this and get um, in a proper understanding of graphs. So I'm looking forward to to re relearning it myself. <laughs> I, I wanted to review the maths that I learned and you know what, this wonderful time of quarantine is giving me exactly that opportunity. So I embrace it, I accept the stretch, and the great thing for you is that I actually have a really good idea of where you are, especially for the, for the adults that never ever learned that in the first place, because you, you would chose a different um, path in life, different than going for a, the more advanced mathematics. My goodness. So we're doing doing my best to help you and um, help your young learners. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you.